All right, I am three classes. Today we're moving on from equations of circles. We're going to be working on equations of parabolas. Specifically, we're going to be focusing on the uh, on two aspects of the parabola. One is the focus, um, and the other is the directrix. So the focus is a point, uh, and then the directrix is a line, right? Um, the every point on the parabola is going to be the same distance from the focus as it is from the directrix. So a, a perpendicular di distance from the directrix, um, and then it goes straight to the point. These distances here, from the focus to a point, um, gives a, uh, those distances are the same. So what we're going to be doing today is using the focus and the directrix to graph parabolas. We're not gonna be incredibly accurate with it. We're gonna do rough sketches of the, of the parabolas. Um, and then we're gonna also use those points to find equations of the parabola. So um, if we have a parabola centered at the origin, that means the, the vertex is at the origin, we're gonna be using this basic equation. Uh, y is equal to one, four, uh, one over four P times x squared, where p is the y-coordinate of the focus, and the directrix is just y is equal to negative p. So let's look at an example of this. So first thing we're going to do is write an equation. Actually, I'm going to graph this really quick first. Um, I'm going to make a little bit of a thicker line so we can see it better. I'm going to do that directrix in blue. So the directrix is y equals 4. So it's going to be a line at y equals 4. So uh, just a straight horizontal line. The focus then is at the point uh, y negative 4. All right. So now we, uh, we're going to graph this. I'll do here the, I'll do it in green. Um, here's the vertex. It's all, it's going to be centered at 0, 0. Um, and the focus also kind of tells us which way it's going to open up. It's uh, the directrix kind of blocks it from opening that direction. So it's going to be opening going down. And this is as accurate as we need to make the sketch. If it's probably not that the best sketch ever, but it's close enough for what we're trying to do. All right. Um, we are going to now write an equation. So we need to remember it's y over uh, 1 over 4p times x squared. All we need to do is take the p value, which is the y coordinate of the focus, and put it into p here. So we get y is equal to 1 over 4 times negative 4 times x squared. Again, we're just changing out the p right there, um, and we get y is equal to one over four times a four is negative 16. So negative 16 x squared, and that's it. All right, let's look at another example. Um, uh, focus is at zero, negative one. So the focus, you go to negative one on the y, you do a straight horizontal line. The directrix is, at zero. Oh shoot, I did that backwards. And both these are gonna open upside down. Focus is at zero, negative one. Directrix is at y equals one. Did that backwards, my, my mistake. I mean things um, a little quickly. So here is our vertex at zero, zero, and it's gonna open up something like this, All right? Now we're going to write an equation. So y is equal to one over four p times x squared. And all we need to do, we take the p value, which is the y coordinate of the focus and substitute it in for p here. So we get y is equal to one over four times negative one times x squared. So we get y is equal to 1 over negative 4x squared. All right, next. Um, 
Now we are going to find the directrix and the focus. Let me move this so I can see some of my stuff here. <clears throat> um, find the directrix and the focus. So we have one over 16. So what we need to do is find the p-value, right? All we're going to do is work with this part right here, the one over 16, because that is going to give us this. So we have um, one over 16 is equal to one over four P. And so now we just need to solve for P. Um, easiest thing to do, uh, you, you can just set the bottoms equal to each other because the tops are the same, but just something we're used to working with, um, cross multiply. If you do one times 16, you get 16 is equal to, and then cross multiply, uh, one times 4p is 4p. And then solve for p, just divide both sides by four. You get uh, four is equal to p. So now we have enough for the focus and the directrix. So the focus is just zero in the p value. So the focus having trouble spelling focus right now. Focus is zero, four. The directrix, let's do dir, is y is equal to negative four. Next one, uh, this one here. So 24 is equal to one over four p. So again, we're just using this number in front, 24, and we know it's one over four P. It might look a little funny because this is a fraction. Um, that's okay. We can uh, solve this the same way. What I'm gonna do first is actually make this a fraction. And now we can see that it's still just cross multiplying. So I get four P or 24 times four P is equal to one times one, which is just, well, we can do, I can show the whole thing, one times one. So 24 times four is 96, P is equal to one. And now I just need to divide both sides by 96. So times 96 divided by 96, this cancels out. You just have P, is equal to one over 96. And we're fraction, but that's okay. The focus is at zero, one over 96. And the directrix is y is equal to negative p, so one, negative one over 96. All right. uh, next. Sure, one more. All right, um, when it's negative, just be careful. You gotta use the whole thing. So I'm gonna use a negative one over 10 is equal to a uh, positive one over four P. So negative, it doesn't matter where you put the negative when you're dealing with fractions, top or bottom. Um, but just so it's not confusing, I'm gonna move this negative up to the top. So it's still a negative one tenth. I'm just moving up to the top and I'm gonna treat the negative one on top. That's, I'm going to treat that as a negative while I'm solving this problem. So it's still a cross multiply problem. So it's going to be 10 times one. Is equal to negative one times four P. Multiply that out, so you get 10 is equal to negative 4p, divide both sides by negative four. Um, you can reduce that fraction, you can change it to a decimal, it doesn't really matter to me. Um, I'll just reduce this fraction, I'm just gonna be negative five halves, that's the same thing as 2.5, I'm just gonna have it as negative five halves, the times negative four divided by negative four cancels out. So the p, the focus, is zero, 
negative five halves. The directrix, it's a negative P, so a negative name makes a positive, so it's gonna be Y is equal to a positive five halves. That is it for that one. So next, what we're going to do is uh, deal with equations of, of uh, or parabolas that are not at the, the origin. Um, important thing to remember is that the vertex HK is the midpoint between the focus and the directrix, right? It is the midpoint. So we are going to be given um, the, we're gonna be given the focus and the directrix. We need to find the point in the middle of it, all right? So, oh, blank page, there we go. Uh, so here, starting off, uh, what you wanna do is plot the focus, plot the directrix, and then we are, we're actually gonna write the equation for this. So plot the focus, it's at negative one, four. So negative one is left four, or left one, up four. I'll do this stuff in blue. So there's the focus. The directrix is at y equals six. So I'm gonna go up to y equals six, that's right here. That popped up. Um, and I'm gonna do my line. So the focus, the, the vertex is right in between those two. So the, the, the vertex, we can see it's gonna be the midpoint. It's gonna be right here. So the vertex, right, right down here, is gonna be at negative one, uh, five. One, two, three, four, five. So here is what our equation is gonna look like or the parabola is gonna look something like this. Real rough sketch, All right? Now we're gonna write the equation of this. So what we need to remember when we write the equation, it's still one over four P and it's X minus H squared plus K. Important thing to remember, just like circles, that we did in the last lesson, uh, the H here, when we plug in the H, it's gonna end up being opposite of what's up here, all right? Um, this will make sense when we put it in. So uh, remember the, the vertex, this is gonna be our H value, this is gonna be our K. I probably could have written that somewhere where it wasn't right in, on top of other things, but oh well. Uh, so H, I'm gonna substitute that in for here, all right? The K, five, is gonna go in here. Uh, and then the P value for here comes from, it's still the Y coordinate, right? So that's still gonna go right here. Or actually, no, let me back up. It is not the Y, it is the distance. Excuse me, that is not the P value. It's the distance. So the P value, is gonna be this distance here, all right? How far away are those two points? They're just one away, so P is equal to one, all right? And so that P value is gonna go in here. So the, the P is the distance from the vertex to the focus. And that's the reason why when it's centered at the origin, that distance, is just going to be the y coordinate, but here we got to have to think. We have to think about that. Figure out the distance. This is going to be just as simple as counting. We're not going to, or what we're doing, we're not going to need to use distance form or anything. It's going to be a straight vertical distance. You can just count. So we get y is equal to one over. I'm just going to write this and leave some blanks of everything that we are going to substitute in. All right. So again the p-value from the graph, the distance from the vertex. H is gonna go here, and then K is gonna go here. So P on this one is one. We found H is negative one, and K is five. So now we just need to simplify all that. So we get Y is equal to one over, four times one is four. Minus a negative one, that's going to become a plus one. 
A and K is five. And there is the equation. All right. Let's do this one. All right. So plot the focus and the vertex. So focus is at three, two. So one, two, three, one, two. The directrix is at y equals negative four. So I gotta go down to negative four. And now I need to find uh, the vertex, plot the vertex halfway in between these two. So there's a distance one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six across. The halfway point is gonna be three away. So one, two, three, here is the focus. Just find the midpoint, you can do it by counting, all right? Um, and it's gonna open up this way. So um, the vertex, we found that to be at three, negative one. So this is our H, this is our K. We need to find the p-value. So again, the p-value is going to be this distance here. How far is the focus from the vertex that has a distance of three? All right. Now we just need to um, write our equation: one over four p times x minus h squared plus k. Substitute in the values in the appropriate spots. I'm actually going to write rewrite this so it flows a little bit better. So one over four. I'm going to substitute in for the p. X minus blank squared plus blank. So I'm going to take uh, starting off h. Is three that's going to go in here. Uh, K negative one that's going to go at the end here. And then the p value is three, so that goes down here. So substitute those values into the appropriate spots. So this is going to be p uh, three. Negative one. Why did I put P? That is not it. This is a three. There we go. All right. So I get Y is equal to four times three is 12. Uh, X minus three. I don't need to change anything. It's just X minus three plus a negative one. I can write that as minus one. There we go. All right. Yeah, last problem, cool, still checking. Um, last one, do this real quick. Uh, so focus is at two, one, so one, two. Notice actually before I do this, sometimes the graphs do this, uh, the graphs are counting by two. Two, four, six, eight. I don't like it when it does it, but that's okay. Two, one is going to be uh, up here. Two, one. The directrix is at nine. Nine, so two, four, six, eight, nine is gonna be halfway between. That's gonna make it a little bit more challenging to find the halfway point between there, but we can do it. So halfway has a distance of, I'm gonna count. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the distance from the directrix to the focus is eight. So I'll uh, halfway between is going to be a distance of four. So one, two, three, four is going to be right here. I want that in red. There we go. Uh, this one is going to open up going down. Ooh, you know what? No, that was good. I made a mistake over here. This is negative. When it's opening up going down, it means it's negative. Ooh, got to go all the way back. I forgot that point. So if it opens up going down, that means your one over four P is negative, all right? So um, back to here. Um, the vertex, come on in bud. Uh, the vertex we found is at two, five. 
So vertex is at two, five. So this is our H, this is our K. Um, the distance, so I'm gonna find the P value for this. So this distance here is four, all right? Now we're gonna write our equation. Y is equal to one over four P times H or X minus H squared plus K. Um, and then substitute things in. So two is gonna go in for H, five is gonna go in for K. The P value, um, it's gonna end up being negative. So it's going to be uh, Y over, oops, let me do some highlighting here. P is four, that's gonna go in here. So it's gonna be one over four times uh, four times X minus uh, H, no, H is two. Come on in. Squared plus five. Um, so now when we simplify everything, it's gonna be negative since it's opening up going down. Uh, 16 X minus two squared plus five. And that will do it for us. Yeah, all right. Um, next time, more parabolas.